Hello everyone, this is the fifth video in the IoT Data Simulator tool series and today I'm gonna show you how to replay datasets. First of all, let's take a look at the dataset we're gonna to work with. I've created a small JSON file which consists of only four messages. Every message has device ID. As you can see, we have only two devices, device 1 and device 2. There is also message time property. Uh, please note that uh, there is one second delay between first and second entries, also one second between second and third en entries, and three seconds delay between uh, third and fourth entries. And also each message has some temperature value. Okay, let's open the tool and uh, create new session with new data definition. Let's upload our data set in the simulator using upload new option. Let's click proceed. As you can see the tool has derived data set schema for us so we don't need to do it manually. Let's click next. Provide some data definition name. Create definition and select it. As you can see, uh, there are some changes on data producing options screen. When we're working with data sets which have some date time properties, one more timer time beca becomes available. It is a data set timer. It replaces data set content with the same time difference that is between entities in data set. Let's select this timer. As you probably remember, our dataset has only one daytime property called time. So you can see that it is selected by default. And uh, we're gonna replay dataset with actually the same time intervals. One second, again one second, and three seconds. So replay rate remains one. Also, when session has definition with dataset attached, dataset filter option becomes available. Let's ignore it uh, for a while and we'll use it a bit later. Okay, let's click proceed, skip devices, and now you might have noticed that uh, when session has definition with dataset attached, data processing rule screen provides a different set of default rules. By default it is current related time rules for daytime properties and as is rule for the rest. Let's click proceed. We're going to use uh, dummy target system and set name for the session. Let's run this session. You can see that we replayed the content of our data set with exactly the same time intervals provided in time property of data set entities. But all time values have current time, which means that we are simulating the run of some previously captured data at present time. Okay, let's apply some updates to our session. Let's say we'd like to replay two times faster. So speed rate will be 2. And also let's apply some changes to the dataset values on the fly. For this we can change temperature default rule from as is to random rule in the interval for from 20 to 40. So let's update the session and run it one more time. You can see that uh, session has been replayed two times faster now and we replace temperature values on the fly by newly generated ones. Okay, last thing I'd like to show you today is dataset values filtering functionality. It allows replaying of only specific messages from dataset. Let's update our session one more time. You can see that two filter types are available, custom function and dataset entry position. 
First one allows data filtering via JavaScript function. Second one allows data filtering based on schema positions. Let's use this second one and say that we'd like to work only with device2 messages. Okay, let's apply these changes and run session one more time. Now we can see only device2 messages. Schema-based dataset processing is useful when we need to process some message of one or similar types, but data simulator tool also allows processing of really different messages and we're gonna take a look at how to do it in the next video. That's it for today. Bye.